holding Mem Zion. Okay. In course of Kalarba Parshish Kotlafe Echod Ksherim, four Parshish written on one continuous cloth. Ksherim is valid. Afilo in Revach Beinayim. Even though there are no margins, there's no space between from one parsha to the next. But you either have to have a, a, a chut, means a thread, or mishicha. See what differences it means. It means a, a piece of gut. Shalyad, kosev ar parshas b'klaf echot. But shalyad, it's written all four parshas written in one klaf. The golam misofen l'tchilosa, and you roll it from the end to the front. So that means on the outer part you have Kaddish Li Kobukhor, right? Kaddish is the first parsha going from right to left. So you, if you roll it from the back, from the end to the front, so Kaddish is wrapped around. So it's the alternate, you get right, right to the beginning. Right, right. the beginning, correct, correct. Kola Osim Sovat Chilosov, Korech Klaf Aleim, as you did the four in the Shorosh, each one has a Klaf. Usar Egel, Usar Egel, and then you put the hair of, of preferably of a, of a calf. And you insert it into the compartment as you do with the Shorosh. He wrote it on four separate parchments. Yeah, inside the bias, the Shalyad, there were four compartments. And it was written four separate parchments, and he put them in each one a separate compartment. Or alarba batim shunirun kabayis echot. Even though inside it's four separate compartments, but he took a piece of leather and he covered over the outer part of the the, the four compartments. Is it, so from the outside, it looks like one compartment. Although inside the four separate compartments, four separate parchments, it's valid. You mean it will look like the, it the looks yad. like it looks no, it looks like a yad. Even though right. inside right. It's, it's identical to the shorosh. Now it's it's interesting. I mean, when you put the piece of leather on top, if you have to have orechot, in fact, actually it's not orechot. Wait, wait, the answer is you have to glue it. We had before, it's a question of gluing. Is gluing the equivalent of orechot? Or stitching is, is orechot? It wasn't simple. It was a machlokas. It was an argument. So let's say it's not, right? The answer is, seemingly, they must be of the opinion that even though it's not one, factually, the four compartments is valid, Except it has to look like it has to look like a bias. So even though reality it's four different separate compartments, because the attachment through glue was not one one piece of height. But as long as it looks like a bias echot, that's sufficient. Look what it, 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 what it appears from the outside. It appears like bias echot. We'll see. Agov amidu ledavkom bedevek sheyako keklaf echot. He says if it's written on four different parchments. The meaning is they w- would paste them, they would glue them together mm-hmm. with glue, that it should be the equivalent of one continuous cloth. Vizoro lito devek kosher. You have to be careful that the glue should be made of a kosher with kosher ingredients, because everything that has to do with the filling has to be of a kosher species. It says glue. That's it, Mishnah Burra Mem Zion. No years ago, what did they do with, uh, with horses? No, they made glue out of the horses. In the concentration camps, they fed the horse meat to the Jews if, if they gave them meat. Right? But the United States, what they, you know, it was a glue factory. Glue was made from uh, horse meat. What? Afilo Ain, let Mem Zion. He says, we're talking about here the cloth for the shell for the shell rosh was written was written on one continuous cloth. He said with Mechab says, even though there's the margins which normally are between them, the margins are not there. Right? Koshkim, he says, especially if there's sufficient space, you know what you do? You cut them. If there's not sufficient space, you can't cut them. Correct? But he says, you cut them. He says, although it was written as as one continuous cloth. 
that doesn't detract from it from it from its value. Even it's written originally on four di- one continuous cloth, if you cut them into four cl- uh, cloth and four separate parchments, insert it, it's hundred percent okay. It's valid. After base Aksiva Kosovan Blah, Kosakharun, Avogab Shane, Revach by name year, Mukhach Lania Ko Parsha Basa Shlobistifa. This week we discussed earlier. It's written out there's not enough there's not a, a margin in between, so you can't uh, cut them. That means when you insert it, it's gonna be horizontal, it's not gonna be vertical. Correct? Because you have to weave it weave it in and out of the out of the compartments. He says, Yemukh Lania Ko Parsh Basa Shlobiskifa and he said although he said earlier it should be vertical. That that you have to insert it vertically, that's only the optimum way. Okay? Open Bishikho. It says you should separate if since it's on one continuous cloth and you're weaving it in and out of the bottom of in the compartments. You should separate each one, he says, with a thread or with a meshicha. Ratzloma, ke meshikos parshes borechot, so lahavsik bechut o meshicha o begit k'mo sh'onu nogin bein bayis l'bayis. They lost his heker shabbat muvdolim. I mean, you have to look inside. I mean, ours are sewn clothing, but he's closed. But inside the bayis, he says, there's a like there's a, a piece of gut running up along the, the wall of each one. It's sewn in and out. Inside, they put a gut and they stitch. They put pierce the wall on top. It goes down, goes to the bottom, to indicate the shorosh. You don't see it from the outside. It's from the inside. It's from the inside. Even though it's a separate compartment, it says he's still. Doesn't make a difference. He's but if the parshas are written in four separate parchments. This is not necessary. You only have to make this delineation to make it more obvious of certain one cloth. One second. The Eish, Poskim, Bechol Gavni, Tzorch Losis, Hevdu Ben Abatim, Cheshin Lenok. This is the Rabbi Poskim, this is Chumrah. You should have the, the, the gut going, separating one, even though it's four separate parchments, four separate compartments, you should have this stitch, this, this gut separating. Kosov Mechabel, Kamasim, Nan Aleph. Even if one did not, if it's written on four separate parchments, even if you didn't put this thread in, it's 100% kosher. It's, it's a hidur. It's lechat chilon. Okay, barba batim. Reishut ches. Yeah, he says if it was written on four separate klofim, and he inserted it in the four separate compartments, yotso. This is the shal the shal yad shal yad. Kosh minicha by sechot feyodif. Let's see, took took all separate four parchments and you put them into one into one compartment. It was on, even not only on the outside does it look like it's actually it's, it's, it, you only have a bais a shal yad. Okay. Va minog. What's the minog? He says to take the four parchments and to glue them together, not to leave them separate. There's a mitzvah to glue them. This is although the mitzvah is to write them on one continuous one piece of parchment. He's saying interesting. Let's say a person had written the four parts of four separate. Now the question: Now do you go search for? One cloth, and you, otherwise you're not going to be able to use these four. You don't, you don't need it for another shell roche. Correct? Do you write another one on one kinish cloth, or this is already been the evidence? You're in a situation you have, and there's no reason for just to put them away and not use them. That's a the evidence. You should, it, he says it's the wrong thing now not to use them. So is that the issue that you're not going to use Because, 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 L'chatchil, if you glue them, gluing is a bit of it. Gluing. But he says, if you ha- wrote them on four separate parchments, rather than seeking out one, or four parts on one parchment, it's l'chatchil, if you glue them, you can use l'chatchil. This, this is the shalyat. This is the shalyat. This is the shalyat. It's supposed to be four separate parchments. Right? One second. V'im nimtza tos b'parsha revius. 
What about they find the mistake in the fourth book? One. Here what happens. We, we speak about Kisidron, right? It has to be written in the consecutive. Let's say they find the last parsha a, a problem. Put the glue together, right? No, no, no. It was written originally on one continuous cloth. Right. Now you find a mistake in the last one. What do you do with it? So it's no problem. You just snip, cut off the last one, write a separate cloth, and then glue it on to the first three, which are written on one cloth. That itself, that's L'Chadchila. Because what do you do? You put the whole thing in Shemus. That, because that, that's the only thing you have to put in Geniza. That, that you're permitted to c- snip off the last one, write a new, new portion on a separate cloth, and then glue it on. Zehavi b'dievid. Okay, then the Ramos says that the glue that you use has to be made of a kosher ingredient. Ratzloma ki behet me behema Torah. Kotrim gonu dezez rak lemitza avadol dikuva. Hear this? He says that's only lemitza, it's, but it's not maki. If you use non kosher glue, it's valid. Why? The Torah says that the film has to be mutabifich, has to be of a species that's you permitted to eat. That's only if that's synonymous with filling. But if you hold BDF, we said, even if you put them in as four separate parchments in the shaliyat, it's kosher. So the glue is only hid the mitzvah. It's not the essence of the mitzvah, it's kosher. The film are kosher even if you don't glue them together, the parshis in the shaliyat. So let's say a person had no kosher glue, he used non kosher glue. Right? It, it, it doesn't validate the tefillin. Because being one continuous cloth in the shalyad is only a hidden mitzvah. So that that you did hidden mitzvah with non kosher ingredient is not going to validate the tefillin. Even though everything has to be from kosher animals. The tefillin has to be. This is not tefillin. It's, it's not, it's not a, a criterion tefillin that it has to be on one continuous cloth in the shalyad. Even if it's on four separate parchments, it's valid. That's what he's saying. He's citing, he's citing the Prima Gautam on this. Of course, preferably you should. No, you don't, no, no, you don't have to roll So you, you line them up next to one another. Each one, they can be rolled separately. Don't roll them together. <coughs> Just let's do Memches. If Tzipa bought a bezov, person was, you know, one of these uh, fancy Jews, he wanted to have his tefillin and Sharosh should be gold, gold-plated. Okay? So it's leather, gold-plated. O behor behemet where he took a non-kosher hide and covered the, the bias with a non-kosher hide, psulim, it's possible. Memches, Reish Chafalif, and Tes. Ob or pirush, also or mitchilo, mebe mitor, vakach tzipal, also or mebe mitmeo, filo psulim, da filu chotach boka shin in shashin nire. Hear this? What happens? He took, he took, let's say, uh, pig's hide, put it on the Tushar Rosh, they cut through the, see, through the non-kosher hide, and now what protrudes from the hide is the shin of the kosher hide. Would it be kosher? So you see the shin from the kosher hide. He said, it's still possible. I am Be'er Alocha. See the Be'er Alocha. Here the Be'er Alocha says that the Mechaber holds that Michel Yad, even if you don't glue them together, it's, 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 it's Lechat Chila, it's kosher. He says, because the Ramah adds, the Minig is to, to, to glue them. So if the Ramah says the Minig is to glue them, evidently the Mechaber is of the opinion, you don't have to glue them. That if you have four separate parchments, you can put them separately. There's, not, there's no reason even to glue them together. Because the, you see from the Ramah, he says, Baminog, which Minig? In the Kashkanaz. But the meeting of Sfarim, they, they will not glue it together. They'll insert them into the shell yad as what? As four separate uh, parchments. Vushayatle or, I mean, Gorm the Chase Boor, Gamma Mokamashin, Shlul Yira Chutza, Ilafochi, Shash Baltose, Shell Yad. He said something interesting. He said earlier that if it's four compartments, you have to take a, a, a piece of leather to cover the outside. He says, what happens if the shell yad, the outer uh, hide, is what? is perforated or torn, 
that you're able to see the shin, although the, the shell yard is covered. You don't see the four compartments, but you can see the shin of the shell, of the, of the shell rosh. He says it's not valid. Good question. It's about tosif. You've added something to the shell yard which is not supposed to be there. He took the bais of a shell rosh, which is four compartments. You have a shin on, one, on either side of it. And now he covers it with a piece of leather, and the shin is not covered because it's cut out. So the shin protrudes. It's not valid. It's baltosif. Of course, the shell yad is not supposed to have a shin seen on the outside of it. Tzipa abatim, ayim yishaburu, b'shem primigodu kosevod, ha'or kosher al gabi or kosher. Vishin nire, he says, what about if you took a kosher hide, put it on top of another kosher hide, and you're able to see the shin from, from the inner hide. Kosher afi shein bais roe avir, kevich ha'shin nire, he's talking about like this, the shel rosh. He took the shell rosh and he took a hide, put it on top of the hide, and he cut out the outer hide that you should be able to see the shin. So you have two hides. Is it valid? I mean, seemingly it should be possible. I mean, you don't yeah, see what about the four batim? He says it's kosher. Nira kosher afi she'ein bayis roe avir kevet shashin nira. That's what I'm saying. Evidently, you, you don't need it. The main thing is the shin has to be seen. That's what he's saying over here. That's, that's the chidush. Even though you don't see four compartments. Since factually there are four compartments. Even though they're covered with the outer hide, as long as the shin on either side is seen, it's, 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 it's valid. That's what he's saying. He says, people, they take a shellac and they put a thick coating on the outer part of the tefillin. So the leather has a, has a coating on it. It will be valid. To be continued. which means he took a piece of hide and covered over the shell roche. Yes. So if you cover it over another piece of hide, you don't see the shin on either side. You don't see the four compartments either. Mm -hmm. But let's say now we want to cut out the outer hide and the, the only thing you're able to see is the shin on either side. He says it's valid. Even though you don't see four compartments. <laughs>